CBS News has obtained a draft study by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, not yet made public. It says there is evidence the risk is real. Deborah Potter has details. It's produced by everything from power lines to computer terminals, an invisible electromagnetic field that may be a health hazard. There is uh, uh, pretty persuasive evidence that exposure to uh, uh, power, frequency, electric, and magnetic fields can produce changes in biological systems. CBS News has learned that the federal government is now taking that evidence seriously. A draft report by the Environmental Protection Agency concludes that there is a link between electromagnetic fields and cancer in humans. The report cites recent studies of telephone workers and children living near power lines who suffered significantly higher rates of cancer. The Rausch family lost their son, Will, to a brain tumor. We realized that the school he had attended for two and a half years did have power lines running by it. Yes, Jared. I don't understand what to do here. Now, his mother, Sharon, is teaching her other children at home in Boca Raton, Florida. What we don't know about electromagnetic fields may be killing us. School officials insist there's no danger, but part of the school is now off limits under a judge's ruling that it's too close to the power lines. Florida is the only state in the country so far to have exposure guidelines for EMF, but already there's talk in Congress of setting a national limit. This is not something that, that's, uh, that's a, that a bunch of crazies are, are concocting. I mean, this is a real concern, and we're talking about human health. Most EMF research has focused on power lines, but concern about the effects of exposure to other sources already has prompted the redesign of some products to lower EMF, including IBM computers and Northern Electric blankets. While admitting there is cause for concern, the utility industry says there's no need to panic and certainly no reason to take action now like reinstalling lines to cancel out EMF. We spend billions of dollars refacing every line across America and then we found out three or four years from now that in fact we should have been spending the billions of dollars doing something else and we would, we would have a problem. We need to get some high quality science done and get some of these issues resolved. In an unusual move, the new EPA report does not rate the risk of getting cancer from EMF. Sources say that lower-level staffers considered it serious enough to warrant immediate action, but they were overruled. For now, experts recommend avoiding as much exposure as possible, a tall order in today's wired-up world. Deborah Potter, CBS News, Washington.